So look, uh, first of all, Grayson, good seeing you. Ain't well, seen you in a while. Good, good to see you, my brother. <laughs> Welcome back, my my wandering Wait, no, look, African I, brother. I, I, Okay, welcome back to the city. I've been, I've been, I'm leaving the states. At taking, the, taking, <laughs> taking a train to Tibet. <laughs> Just showing up at Tibet. You know what happened? <laughs> I've been here for a year, and I've been all through the states. And I gained a lot of weight, you know. Oh yeah. So I'm taking these next. You know, my theory is that if I've been here for you, know, say, say it took me three months to gain this weight, then it's going to take me well, not three. You say it's going to take me three weeks to get rid of it. Anyway, someone might will kick. Water do my grapefruit and fruit in the morning. Basically, I'm doing I'm doing your thing. I'm doing a vegan. I'm doing a vegan thing. Oh, good. <laughs> but it's it, no it, vegan. It's just like um. Well, no dairy. You know, you yeah, know, yeah. You know, I'm just giving it a thing so people get a enjoying know. the plant matter. Thank you. <laughs> and um, don't get me wrong. I'll I'll give me a fish thing before I leave. The kind of nice restaurant where I um, give me some some fish. Just I trying know. to just trying to avoid the mercury. I understand. Look. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, um, because I leave for Africa at the end of the month, and so I don't want to get there and they say, oh, they, he's definitely an American, you know. <laughs> to that. Anyway, but here's the thing. What I was trying to uh, to get to, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm saying something through, but, you know, people give you those analysis, they're doing this, they're doing that, da, 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 and I've heard it so much all my life, you know what I mean? They go like, I don't need to hear that anymore. I, even if it's a little bit of new thing, but it's still old because it's, things are in, in cycles and in systems, and these cycles and systems have been going on for so long. I don't even have to study now. I could study, let's say, for instance, we just got, went through Trump. Everybody says, oh, Trump, worse, blah, 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 blah. I'm going, like, oh, Trump, really? How about Woodrow Wilson? It's the same thing. It's, we, back in, look, I'm a theater person, so let me put it this way. I really love Arthur Miller. No, I shouldn't say love. I really appreciate and like Arthur Miller. What he did, when that stuff was going on in the McCarthy era in the, in, the, in the 50s or whatever it is, instead of him writing a play about that, what he did was he said, what, uh, what at the point in, in American history that we have this situation? Oh, with the, up there with the with the scarlet letter and the, and the Puritans, whatever. So let's do, let me do a play about that. So to people who knew, you say, oh, this is us right now. It's the same thing. Well, if I wanted to do something, I would. I don't have to talk about Trump. I can talk about Woodrow Wilson. Exactly. I can talk about that whole everything that happened. Is the same. It's, it's the same. Even I wouldn't say worse, but it's the same thing. Same. You know, some somebody exciting a, a group of people to do whatever they do their bidding, whatever they die, to that, 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 that. Okay. So I, I don't look at that stuff because I, I'm. I can find it every place. What I try to do with the information I have, because you know, I've read blah 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 blah, and just experience, listen to people. I say, okay, there's two things I want to deal with, right? Uh, let's deal with the economy, economics. Let's say economics and education. Let's do the two E's: economics and education. Okay, here's the problem. Right now, if, from what I understand, uh, Google or one of those people, they're going to make they're going to make basically uh, the the university obsolete, obsolete. I mean, the idea of going to university anyway is really just making relationships. So, you know, you could say, you know, oh, 30 years later, say, oh, my good friend who now runs a whole country. Yeah, we were roommates. <laughs> and now I'm the head of, you know, I'm the finance minister for this country. You're the, you're the head of that country. Hey, let's make a deal. You know what I mean? So the idea of university is just about relationships. You know, you find whatever. So so the actual education, education just means bringing it out of yourself, is not important, you know? Okay, so I'm going like, if there's not going to be any more universities, well, there'll be universities because people want those relationships and, you know, you, whatever, whatever. And these big universities, they'll still exist. They'll keep on a so-called educate or indoctrinating their elite to continue to try to do. And by else, what are you going to do? They're going to be under Google. You're going to pay some certain amount of stuff or whatever company going to pay a certain amount of stuff to get the education because they got the thing that they're, then they're going to have some professor online telling you da 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 and you, you're, you're going to say, yeah, 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 so and so. He got these awards. He got to promote this book and the dean is a popular bestseller and something, ding, ding, ding. And that's, what, that's what I was going to be. I'm going, I said, okay, let's look at that model. If they are going to use that, I'm going to, let me just deal with Southern Africa because that's where I've been for since 2003. So you have Southern Africa, you have what's called the Sadic nations, right? Basically from, um, from um, Madagascar all the way over to Namibia, you know, to DRC, the 
or everything in between, Zambia, you know, Lesotho, Botswana, there's, there's a whole sub-Saharan Africa they took up. Now, if I wanted to do education, and, and people ain't got no money, blah, 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 you know, I'm talking about people, I'm not talking about the elites or whatever, the middle, so-called middle, right? There's more un people under 30 <laughs> that live in Africa, that, that, you know. Well, so I want to I wanna get to them. How do I get to them? First of all, remember education is a, a, a process of releasing yourself, right? So I said, okay, there's a thing called Li-Fi. You know, and you have Wi-Fi, which is radio waves, you no know, transmitter. Then you have Li-Fi, which is light waves. Li-Fi is less expensive, well, you just, in fact, less expensive, but the, the bandwidth, everything like that, there's more stuff you can get out of Li-Fi. So if I had the whole static nation, okay, Li-Fi, the entire static nation, the whole sub-Saharan Africa, right? And then what you do, then you, you get your little smartphone, whatever have you. Now you can get your data for free, whatever. You get your data, or less, you know, you, you, you get your stuff going. So if, I, so if, I, if, I'm, if I'm, again, let's go over to Peru. If I'm a goat herder in, uh, in, 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 uh, in, in Lesotho, well, through, through the internet, I could just contact my goat herder guy in Peru and say, hey, look, I'm having this problem. He said, oh, I had that problem before. Here's what you do. Do, 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 do. Done. You know, if I want to know about some extraterrestrial, well, extra, some mathematics of thing, and there's a mathematics professor in, or you know, mathematics cat in in you know in uh, in, in the Netherlands, you know, and I'm sitting here in Argentina, right? We can talk to each other. We can compare notes. We can have a you know a marathon sessions. So that so so therefore everybody education comes th through um, through con being able to talk to someone. Who also knows who also have the same experience you know the early days I love the early days of the internet you know when you had these chat rooms you know I'm talking about really before everybody had stuff you could you could ask a, a question in a chat room and you wouldn't know who was in the chat room and that question could say you had a question on nuclear physics well usually because of, these were run by universities a lot of professors were so you might be you might get your question answered by you know the Nobel, blah, 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 or whatever, yeah, exactly. something, you know? Mm -hmm. So that was the best time. But now you have, because they, what they do is they game it, and you have all this confusion, and they throw people in, and people have opinions and all the rest of that stuff. So it doesn't really work. But in that education system, if I do that, that means you don't have to, you, you, people can still get together in little school situations or little uh, 12 people situations and explore some, explore some there, and they can do, they, they have their little uh, exploration here in, in this place and then over in this other part of the world they have this exploration, and that's education. So now I've solved that problem. All it takes is a, a means to get it to them and make make sure these idiots, and that, well, I'm calling them idiots, you know, because they, they don't know they're sowing the seeds of their own destruction for money or whatever the, it is. The, you, circumvent, you circumvent the, the structures of control, the existing. Exactly, yes. because it's all about control. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. I want to hold that for a second. We say, oh, what, what isn't that going to, co oh, let me go. Now, now there's a thing, uh, I said economic. So now we have cryptocurrency. I'm going to just deal with Bitcoin. I don't want all the other stuff. Forget that. Bitcoin, they say, well, it takes energy and mining and all the rest of that stuff. Of course, the cost keeps on coming down. But I say, okay, what does South Africa have? Or Southern, I'm going to say Southern Africa has. If we have the thing called two oceans. You have the Indian Ocean and the mighty Atlantic Ocean. There's a thing called uh, um, uh, wave power. I'm not talking, I'm, not, I'm, I'm leaving wind out of it. I'm leaving solar out of it. I'm leaving uh, whatever, gas fumes, whatever, out of it. Just with wave power alone. Mm -hmm. If you can imagine... Marine energy. You, I'm talking about wave. The, the, yeah, marine. The, marine is water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now, if you have almost like a barrier reef of this stuff, this keeps the sharks away, you know what I mean, or you can control it better because they have a big shark problem down there, and you're getting... And that is, it's energy. It, it doesn't depend on the sun, so it doesn't matter if you... Da, 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 da. Of course, you can use the other stuff, too. You have to worry about, of course, now fossil fuels, they'll probably be doing some synthetic fossil fuels anyway, so that's going to be, be changed. But now you have that energy coming, so you can mine, you can, you have the energy for your grid for your, for everything. And again, because it's such a vast area, you can, that, that power can power up the entire continent. But let's leave it just with the static nations. So that's what I'm talking about. Those two solutions, right? I'm, I know these solutions. I'm quite sure a bunch of these really smart people know these solutions. The problem is implementing it, which means that the problem is, you know, political, the political structure that we are under, you know? 
and th and, and just what I'm saying. Now I've, I'm trying to say, if if you implement those two things, it could be done. We said, well, Anthony, nobody knows who you are. <laughs> they, they ain't gonna listen to you. You're an insignificant little speck on the face of the earth. You know, they have no idea who you are. So how do I get? They call it narrative out there. How do I get this narrative out there? My discipline, audio drama, a, a series. You know, um, uh, uh, ongoing by like soap operas, soap operas that you follow. This how it's done, and because of way, the way audio drama is, you have to use all these elements. You know, visuals, the the, you know, the, the stage, the the actors, the music, blah blah blah. Then that narrative, that my little narrative, we can make it popular. Gets out there advocating again. Live fire, wave power. That's the only two other things I would deal with. Somebody else is dealing with some other stuff. Somebody else is dealing with some other stuff. That's it. So that's my solution. But my solution is not predicated. My solution is informed by stuff that I know. But I'm not getting into the details of, oh, th this person is terrible and, and, and who's not going to do this and da 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 I'm not getting into that. Just leap. In other words, go through what, 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 what the problem is. Not linger in the problem or lingering in analysis of the problem. The problem I see right now is people keep on lingering in the analysis of the problem. I told you before, you, 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 I, have, you know, I have Mr. Neely, well, I, got his, I got his book back this month. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has a book, Compensatory Concept. The way it's written, is written for a lay person, almost like you know, sixth grade level or whatever it is. And the way he talks is just regular people, right? But the way the book is laid out, you're not supposed to read it like a book. <laughs> you know what I mean? What you do is you pick it up, you know, every once in a while, you go, oh, this page here or this concept here, you read it, okay, and you keep on doing like that. What other book do we do like that? What other book every week do the, do? the Bible. So I have Mr. Neely Fuller's book analysis, and I have the Bible. Which narr which book am I going to go for my narrative, my information? You know what I mean? I'm not going to use the Bible. In other words, if I spend three hours with the Bible, you know, I don't want to spend three hours with the Bible. Say I spend three hours with the Bible and only 30 minutes with, with Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book. Well, guess what? Now I'll spend three hours with Mr. Neely Fuller's book and 30 minutes with the Bible. I'm not throwing anything out. I'm just... And I will find, and then I will find that I will be served better for what I'm doing through Mr. Neely Fuller's information and aspects of the Bible. Even the Bible, everybody say a song, you know. Maybe, maybe I'll do just audio drama instead of everybody say, you know... Uh, uh, a Jesus song. Everybody say, "Oh Jesus!" Da, da, da. Well, all my characters instead of saying Jesus, they say, um, they say, uh, um, uh, what's the what's, what's what's the guy, the the Egyptian guy, you know, uh, the, the, uh, Horus. Ra, Ra. The Horus. Yeah, well, no, Horus. I say Horus because Jesus Horus, Jesus yeah. Horus, right? Yeah. So all the time we say in Jesus, I've replaced the song with Horus. You know, I mean, it's not gonna go regular, but my point is. Yeah. You can always you can you can you can tweak the system to your purpose. The problem is everybody's so in love with the system, the way it is, and they love that they're not they don't want. It's easier to be, I don't want to say punk. It's easier to not than to do. Well, that's, may, that's may, it. maybe it's not just easy. Maybe it's safer. Whatever you want to call it. Because there's a there's this there's this constant threat of violence, of force, if you don't comply. And so therefore, that's, that's the, the weight that's put on the scale to tip it in one direction or another. But that's my point. Yeah. You don't have to, in this, in this, if you, you don't have to listen to that anymore. That's what I'm saying, it's safe, it's, um, it's like, people, people go with what they think is safe for them. Yes. And so the question is, you take the Bible and Neely Fuller's book, and you say, say, more of Fuller, less of Bible, and then you take pieces of Bible that serve your interest and add it to the Fuller. And then you, you pursue your direction, but then again, you are, you're deviating from the order of disorder. Hold on. What I'm doing, I'm not deviating. I'm replacing, but no what I'm doing, I'm making, I'm trying to make my, the situation, the, the, I'm trying to make my narrative, that's the, they, yeah. they, more sexy than their narrative. That's all. And I'm trying to say to do that, I have to have a vehicle that will do that. And I'm, I'm saying to do audio drama for me is a vehicle that can make my thing more sexy 
they're not thing. It's all. You know what I mean? That's 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 all it is. It's still dealing with the arts. I'm not changing anything. I'm changing people my very subtly, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, like that's all. Now, if if I'll spend I can spend the rest I'll spend I have spent my whole life doing this, but <laughs> most of my adult life, most of my professional whatever audio drama life it's getting to this particular point and now I can perhaps articulate it or I don't really articulate it. I have to do it you know what I mean just like the preacher gets up there every week you know Miss Neil Fools on the on the um, on on the on the radio on the internet every every Tuesday so he's like your your weekly preacher preaching from the same book that's why I bring that up so I got to get people to do that I got to get people to, instead of a, a, a not instead of they can still watch their movies or whatever have you but now my narrative will influence that stuff that's all and I'm not worried if they pick if they if they accept it or not well the thing that 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 I'm concerned about is that these systems require what we have come to call or what we call money and we have been exposed to the to money or the concept of money for so long it seems as though we think we know what it is but from my experience I don't think we really know what money is well does it I don't, look, look but wait, wait, wait a second. I got and, you. and the reason why it's important to start here is because this is one of the most competent tools for developing the things that you're talking about. Look, no, unknown. Uh, Money is merely a means of exchange that everybody accepts. Okay, that's all it is. I'll give you a modern example. And when 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 uh, in Italy something happened in Italy, the the they they because everybody's got to go through the, the American system. Well, you know what the mafia did in that area. They used the old currency of of the Italian country. Now that they use as a means of exchange between themselves, it's not for outside, but between themselves. So you just have to agree on the means of exchange. Okay. That's why I'm saying to you is that if this money is controlled by the Fed or whatever is controlled by SWIFT system, whatever is controlled by, of course you can't use that. You got to get out of that. Not right away, but you got to go through that, which is where cryptocurrency comes in, which is where, like I said, the man energy for, 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 crypt, for crypto mining, all that stuff comes in. It's all perfectly here, which is somebody has to put the narrative together to, to so people can see the possibility. That's okay. All. But see, here, uh, my appreciation of this is comes out of a certain level of um, my own ignorance and my effort to sort of like figure out do I understand what's being talked about here? Do I understand what's being described here? Do I understand that which I use all the time, etc. And that which we are all respect above all else, money. And I've come to realize that money is a construct that we, whether we know it or not, we agree to. And then we, within the framework of agreement, yes, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, an object was created to represent it. And I've come to realize that money is just a medium. It's a medium of that, repre that represents and that holds a temporary value. A medium of exchange okay. that's not controlled by us. Okay. And it has a temporary value because it gets devalued from the moment you get it. That's why people buy real estate. Because loses its value not but gains value because as there are more people then there's more people wanting the same thing that's and the, so the value that's goes what up. I'm saying that's, that's why that's, that's why New York City is being used as a hedge to freeze and retain and grow the value of people's money especially out of these Asian countries that made a lot of money okay, look you're weeding me that's not go back to what you just said Money, the money that but you're but talking about right now is fiat money. But before fiat money, you had something else. Before that, you had yeah, something see, else. And it keeps on changing. But here's the point I want to raise, because I say all that to get to this. And it really shocks me to realize that there are whole nations of leaders that are willing to dig up their raw material out of the ground, in this instance, specifically gold, 
and sell it for paper money. That, to me, is the highest level of brilliance that I have ever, I can ever imagine. That you would take your gold. If you have a boat and it sinks and you come back a thousand years later, that gold will be sitting there. But if you take the same amount of so-called value, symbolic value, in paper money and it drops overboard, in no time it has no value. That's why I don't want, that's why I don't argue that at all. And I don't, I don't, I'm not even into that. I'm trying to tell you, money has changed. You have to check out cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin, because Bitcoin, listen, money that you know, this fiat money that you're talking about is based, the, the power behind it is military power. That's all it is. It's backed up by the military the, the, and, and belief, right? Crypto or Bitcoin is backed up by mathematics. Okay, but here that's the point. Okay, I I can see the construct. So money is an abstraction, a medium, an change. abstracted medium, that has a a symbol, a physical component that represents it. Bitcoin, it turns out, they said was developed by a Japanese guy. Oh, forget all that stuff. Just, just, Wait a second. Was, it ahead. turns out that it was developed by United States agents of state. Oh, Lord. You can't believe... You, no. Absolutely wait, 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 not. Wait, wait, Don't wait. give me no conspiracy. Listen, no, no, listen. no. It's not a conspiracy. The, the, co they have shown... No, they who? Who? Give me... Who has shown? The people who are into the technology, the, the, the guys who are coders, people who actually write computer code, and who are deep inside the code that run the machines that we depend on and think we understand with all the backdoors and everything else, and you name it, the hackers and the whole thing, there are tribes of these people who are deeply in the, in the operating systems of these systems. I mean, like, heavy, who create the, the microprocessors, the physical architecture that represents the, the clocking systems, the division multiplication, all those structures that are inside the computer itself. You're not talking about crypto. No, you're not, computers are not crypto. I'm talking wait, wait. about mathematics. Oh. Mathematics. I understand. But what is happening here is that the machinery has to retain these, how do you say, these, how do you say, abstractions. Because then, remember, you know, your gold is real. Mathematics is not abstract. Your, Mathematics is real. Wait, wait a second. Your nickel is real. Your cobalt is real. Your copper is real. Your Zinc, co your you cocoa, name it. Your cocoa okay? is real. Diamonds, you name it. Okay? Your beans, rice, corn, okay? The things you need that are real, that you can't do without. Let me explain. For me, I know I have a little pouch inside my body called my stomach. And if I'm awake, I only have four hours before I have to eat again. So I am free as long as I eat. So I'm not free of my stomach. As long as you fuel yourself. I got you. Okay. So then the thing that scares me is when we talk about freedom, how much we are convinced that any of us can be free. Can we stay on point? Okay. I've, gi I've given you a, a, I've given you a solution to education. Okay, but wait, wait. I've given you a solution to education. I've given you a solution to economics. Okay. You're now challenging economics and saying that economics is still controlled by whoever you think. What is I'm controlled saying by. is, I'm saying that's true. That's not true. What I'm what I would like to see happen is that in in large nations, in, 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 on, the, on the mother continent, Africa, we know that it is extraordinarily wealthy. Now, the wealth that we are looking at is usually around gold and copper and whatever else, okay? But... We call raw materials, yeah. Yes. And, you know, associated with mining and big trucks that come out of Germany and Japan and America, okay? and um, our dependency on those machines to extract them. But what we don't see is our physical bodies. That's wealth. And our okay. Wait a second. And our political leaders in Africa don't realize... Oh, stop. They, we don't have any political leaders in Africa. Wait, we have wait, idiots wait, wait, in Africa. Wait. Come on now. Okay, symbolic as they may be their leaders, okay? They... That change all the time because laws change all the time. Okay, so, so what I'm concerned about is that a lot of us, our eyes are focused outside of ourselves for the solution 
and not on ourselves. I just listen to me. I just I said I have a solution to education. I have a solution to energy. But wait, Only wait, two wait. things. Wait a second. That came from inside me, from in, informed by stuff that I know. Listen. I'm not the only person that's thinking this. There's got to be someplace, somebody in Pakistan or or, 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 or or Papua New Guinea that's thinking the same thing because they've seen the same thing. New Caledonia. That's right. They're doing the same things. It has nothing to do with... It, those leaders will be will be re replaced. They're, they're just in the same system. Look, something happened in Africa right now. Talk about raw materials, right? Ghana has just said, hey, Switzerland, you ain't, you know... Hey, we're going to make our own chocolate. We're going to have our own factories, whatever. Because that, that's, that's what they did to Africa. Basically, they just did not let Africa, how you say, industrialize, right? But I'm even going beyond it. But they haven't let it. Uh, so if we can do our own mining, whatever, da 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 then that's, that's what it is. And, and everything is there to do it, right? I'm not worried about that. That's what happened. I'm worried about something else. I'm, I'm trying to think beyond that. What informs that, that the next move? They inform the next move. I have to have audio drama and people that come in here that share their ideas and create these kind of the scenarios, narratives, right, that people will be then embrace. This looks more sexier than that. Look, the success, let me tell you, I don't want to jump. I, don't, I want to stay on that and I really okay. want to stop right now. But I want to give you one tiny, tiny, tiny thing because you started, you said something about, um, maybe you didn't, but you said something about Barack Obama. The only difference. I did, we talked earlier. Yeah, but there's only difference between, say, Barack Obama. The executive. The executive. Of the corporation of, of, of the USA. Right. Okay, the only difference between this executive corporation and all the other executives that came before him and even the one that's this right now, right, or the two that came after him, right, he had the best, we had, first of all, he had the, 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 the baritone voice. Yeah, the voice, yeah, the excellent voice. And if you look at it, just check it out, he had the best smile. Yeah, he could sell anything. I call him the Cheshire Cat, but that's a, ah! he had the best smile. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I remember I read his books. I mean, not not the father book, but the uh, whatever, whatever the, not, not even not his new book, but the, yeah. the, the 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 audacity, whatever have yeah, you. Yeah. I'm going like Buffet, what? Yeah. And he did he did everything against that. Only a Cheshire cat would do. And my point is this, right? So so he had the smile, he had the voice. I'm trying to say to you, right? And that's why we, we worship celebrities. You know, people understand. I'm sorry, I'm gonna jump right now again. When Eddie Murphy came on the scene. He was successful because he had to smile. Yes. I'm telling you, every, whatever, Louis Armstrong, the smile. Yeah. People don't understand. I'll, I'll give you a better story. Uh, 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 Bootsy. Uh, um, Collins? Bootsy, yeah, Bootsy Collins, you yeah, know, yeah. the Funkadelts, whatever have you. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I saw this on YouTube. <laughs> story but Boots, Boots, Bootsy was telling this story about, you know, because he rose real quick, and they said, well, and, and, and George was saying, hey, how come, you know, you getting all the shine and blah, 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 blah. He didn't say it that way. Blah, blah, blah. And Bruce said, well, you got to smile. And as soon as George started to smile, he started getting on covers of stuff like that. Whoa. There's some thing in the psychology. And here's a, a, a little trick here. I'm going to say something. White people love smiling. <laughs> I'm, you know it. You know, I know it. it. <laughs> you know it. And here's the funny thing. If you smile at a dog because you're showing your teeth, that's not a good thing for the, the dog. Think that's you. You know, you're not being happy. You you ready to attack like he's ready to attack. So I'm just trying. These are basic things. As soon as I say, and then if I can dramatize when when I dramatize it in an audio drama, then it'll hit people. Just like when I told you white people like to smile, right? You knew immediately. Oh. <laughs> they demand you smile even when they beat they, you they, to they, death. <laughs> and, and, and then it trickles down to 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 to, 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 to black people and say, and then some girls walk and say, hey, why don't you smile, sister? Ah, where'd you get that from? You exactly. See? So on, let me let me let me end this here. You know, uh, press the button. Thank you for letting me uh, rant like this. We'll do 